Hey everyone, today is Wednesday, March 13th. Uh, got about a week until I leave for PAX East, so I'm nervous about that, of course. Uh, uh, my Republic Commando Let's Play ends on Friday. I've got two more parts to upload. Um, if you're interested in more Republic Commando style stories, I highly recommend the Republic Commando book series written by Karen Travis. Um, she uh, also, I think she wrote uh, the Republic Commando game story. So um, they're a spectacular series, and the only reason it ended was because uh, they started to retcon a couple of things, and it was starting to affect her writings, so she kind of had to stop. Uh, but also she got other projects to work on, so no biggie. Uh, anyway, I am getting ready to, like, once all this is done, uh, I'm going to relocate my computer up here and I'm going to play some Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. I'm probably going to do it from memory, although I'm not ashamed to say I will reference a, uh, uh, a walkthrough if I need to. After that is done, I'm going to be doing uh, Monkey Island 2 LeChuck's Revenge Special Edition, because I haven't played that in a very long time, and that one I will most likely need a walkthrough for, because I've only, I think I've only ever played it beginning to end once. Um, it's kind of slightly darker, but that might have to do with the fact that Guybrush isn't wearing a white shirt and black pants anymore, he's wearing a blue coat, so... Uh, oh yeah, new chair. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Civilization 4 lately. I finished one game and I started it on another, and I'm playing Spain in a game with, I think it's like seven other computer players, and Caesar keeps going to war with me, but because he's so far from me, it takes a while for his troops to get there, so by the time he gets to me, there's enough time for me to wipe out his entire army with whatever I have in Barcelona, and then uh, say, hey, you want peace? And he's like, yes, please, because I've got uh, the Temple of Zeus, which is uh, increases war weariness in other nations by 100%. So, uh, yeah. I can also, I can usually tell when he's getting ready to attack me because there's sometimes a buildup of activity uh, in the Chinese territory that's between us. Um I really, I pissed off the English, but they never actually sent troops against me because I culturally took one of their cities. Thus far, I've taken, like, two of their cities. And then I just deleted it because it wasn't in my build plan. I didn't feel like supporting them. So, uh, I think right now I've got ten cities and I've got plans for another, I want to say five, um, in the 1800s. I dropped an explorer on a far-off landmass, and uh, he got a settler out of a village hut. And I, I, I couldn't get the settler back because I didn't have a galleon in the area. And so I was just like, well, I'll just look around a little bit. And I found coal on the island, and I was like, oh, okay, I need that coal to uh, increase the Spanish might. And... Um, uh, the might of the Spanish Empire, and uh, just moved in. I had to uh, throw a lot of money at the colony in order to make things go right, but um, uh, for the most part, I'm winning on that landmass. I've got a bunch of troops there already that I've bought out of hand. Thank you, universal suffrage. Um, and uh, wiped out the barbarians pretty handily. So, yeah. Having fun with that. Um, oh, I got my PAX Pass. I uh, got it right here. And it says, the rules of PAX, violators will be dealt with. There's a dot, dot, dot. So it's a dramatic pause in text. One, drugs are bad. Two, don't steal. Three, don't punch or kick people. Four, no cheating. Five, don't harass anyone. Six, don't mess with things that aren't yours. So that's like rules for life. Um, and then I guess when I show up, I show the badge and they give me a lanyard or something. I don't know. Um, the letter they sent is pretty funny, but short on details. Um...
I don't know if I can bring my bag or not, because I was hoping to carry, like, my stuff in it. But they say they have swag bags. For safety and crowd control reasons, swag bags will be available beginning at 11.30 a.m. in the queue room each day. Lanyards and programs will be available all day in the queue room as well as each of the theaters. So, I don't know. Do not know. We'll see when, how I feel when I get there. I know the first day I'm definitely going to want to keep snacks on me. Because there's a lot of panels I want to see. and That means a lot of lines to stand in. I hope I hope I get into everything I want to. I also hope I see all the boots I want to. Anyways, until next time.